Our project is called Wild Farms. It's an investigation into farmers' attitudes towards rewilding and reforestation of farmland in Ireland. Our project comes as a result of the new EU nature restoration law that was like, passed on the 12th of July 2023. And the law aims to mitigate climate change to 1.5 degrees Celsius and create resilience for Europe against uh, natural disasters caused by climate change. We both come from farming backgrounds and we have a huge interest in farming. Um, Amy's dad would have rewilded a field, like, not part of any scheme or anything, just for his own personal interest. And with the new EU restoration law, we would have chose this project because we have a huge interest in both. We both have a huge interest in biodiversity. Yeah. One of our major findings from the project was that the majority of farmers are very enthusiastic about the idea of rewilding, but just the grants and schemes available at the moment are just not cutting it for them. Like they, like they, they need to have, like the grants need to be higher and there should also be a wider variety of schemes yeah. especially as well. Yeah. Our project is a uh, device to stop dogs and foxes attacking sheep when they're in fields. The idea of the project is that it will send a message to the farmer when they, when the sh their sheep is possibly being attacked. We went to the Tullamore Moor and handed out surveys to, to farmers who had sheep and 78% had experienced sheep attacks, which is a lot higher than what we expected. We hope to push it more as like a product than a science experiment and like sell it to farmers and produce like more of them. We're only going to have um, one device per flock of sheep because they just kind of travel together anyways. So it won't really be that expensive. The uh, name of our project is Nomad Data Collected Trough and it's about a uh, meal being wasted on a farm. We come up with whenever we know the amount of meal wasted on my farm every month. It's about a couple of hundred pounds every month being wasted so we come up with this here. We have an RFID reader right here which it's constantly sending radio frequency signals and whenever an EID tag gets close to the RFID, the EID tag gets powered up by the radio frequency signals and it sends signal to this Raspberry Pi right here. And then it goes to the relays over there and relay number one switches the, switches the direction of the actuator and relay number two sends the power to it so the trough will open. There's also four load cells inside the trough to measure the weight of the meal inside it. Our project is about women in agriculture, so we really saw the need for change because girls weren't being really included in agriculture and we just, we're both from agricultural backgrounds, so we really just wanted to make a change. Like if like the farmer passed away right, and it was always the son was getting the land and not the daughter and like she could have good interests as well as the son you know and she'd do like you know she's always working on the farm but like never getting it. We found out that only 12% of Irish farmers are females which was shocking to hear because we really thought that there would be more um, and we also found out that but from our surveys that boys actually want their that they don't want to be a divide between males and females in farming, they want to be equal and they think that women should be included a bit more.